Hello, and welcome to this quick start video for the ELB 500 TTL from Ellen Chrome. In this video, you will learn the basic functions, features, and menu system of this compact battery powered strobe pack. First, let's get familiar with the unit. On the top control panel, you will find all your dials and buttons. Starting on the left-hand side, you will find outputs A and B with covers, each with an associated on-off button. On the top of the panel, you will find the menu and modeling lamp buttons. On the bottom, you will find the minus one F-stop and plus one F-stop buttons with an Ellenchrome branded test button between them. On the right side of the control panel, you will find the eye cell at the top. Beneath that is a dial used to turn the flash power up and down by tenths of stops, as well as scrolling and selecting options in the menu system. Lastly, beneath the dial is the power button. On the side of the pack housing, you will also find a sync terminal for use with third-party receivers, a USB socket used for updating firmware, and a small port for the included battery charger. Before we power up the pack, be sure that your lithium-ion battery is charged. To remove the battery, simply press the release buttons on the side of the unit and lift the pack off the battery. By pressing the battery check button here, you will see just how much battery life you have left. To charge your ELB500, plug the AC charging cable into the side of the battery. Ellenchrome has engineered this pack to feature active charging which allows you to charge the battery while the unit is on. To attach the battery to the pack, simply place the pack on top of the battery and press down until it securely locks in place. You will hear it click into place. Be sure it is secure. Now we will turn the pack on by pressing and holding down the power button. You will see the LCD display come to life. This will show everything you'll need to know while operating the pack. To plug in your ELB 500 TTL flash head, lift up the rubber cover, line up the pins, press down firmly, and tighten the locking collar clockwise until secure in place. You will see the LCD screen blink, meaning a head is plugged in but is not activated. Next to the outputs, you will find the A and B buttons. Let's press A. And you'll see now that our flash head plugged into the A output is activated. Below the LCD screen, there are buttons to turn the power both up and down in one-stop increments. Between these two buttons is the flash test button, used to test fire your flash. You can also turn the power up or down in tenths of stops by turning the dial just to the right of the screen. Please note, in Fotix Odin 2 mode, which we will discuss later. This dial only changes the power in one-third stops. As you adjust the power of your flash head, you will also notice the flash duration information change on the bottom left of the LCD. Ellenchrome ELB 500 TTL flash heads include a high-powered daylight LED modeling light. Above the LCD screen, you will find the modeling light button. A simple press will turn the modeling light on and off, which will be reflected on the LCD screen here. If you press and hold the modeling light button, you will be brought to the modeling light menu. Once in the menu, you will find an option for either free or proportional. The free modeling lamp mode allows you to change the power of the modeling lamp independent of your flash power setting, whereas the proportional mode will allow the modeling lamp to power up and down in conjunction with the power of your flash output. Below the mode option, you'll see the VFC option, which stands for visual confirmation. When this function is turned on, each modeling light will dim after the flash fires to let you know when the light is fully recycled. Next, you'll find the modeling lamp timer option. When set to off, the lamp still remains on as long as the associated flash head is activated. If this mode is set to on, the lamp will remain on for as long as designated below, from one to 60 seconds. Once we have our preferred options set, 
we simply press the right arrow button to go back to the main screen. From the main screen, we can press the menu button to get into the setup menu. The first menu you will see is the radio setup menu. Here you can select the system as either Skyport for Elenchrome or Odin 2 for Fotix, depending on what type of transmitter you have mounted to your camera. With Skyport selected, we can see the mode, group, and frequency options. Select off for when you want to use a third-party radio receiver with a PC sync cable. Use normal setting when shooting with mirrorless or DSLR cameras, or when using HSS. Speed mode is used for leaf shutter cameras. The combination of speed mode and leaf shutters allows for flash sync speeds that are much faster than 1 250th of a second. Next, you will find your group and frequency options. You can select the color-coded groups 1 through 4 and frequencies 1 through 20. In Odin 2 system, you must select the supported camera system you are shooting with. Next, you can select your specific Odin 2 ID number from 0000 to 9999 to match your specific transmitter. Below that, you can select channels 5 through 32. Finally, you can select one of the five groups for each individual head from A through E. To get to the next menu, we can press the minus one stop button to go back to the main setup menu and scroll down to flash mode. Here we can turn action mode on and off for even faster flash durations up to 1 20,000th of a second. Turn the photo cell on and off for optical slave mode and change our recycling speed between fast and eco. Fast mode will allow the heads to recycle faster down to two seconds at full power. Let's press the back button again and scroll down to the extras setup menu. Here you can change the auto standby option from off to one minute to one hour. The auto off option from off to one minute to one hour. The ready tone off and on the keyboard click off and on, and change the background from black to white. Lastly, there is the info menu item. This will display detailed information and statistics about your pack. It includes friendly name, which is set through computer software, the version of firmware installed into the unit, the individual serial number assigned to the pack by the manufacturer, the total amount of time the pack has been used for, or the pack's lifetime, and the pack's flash count, simply the number of flashes the pack has sustained. You now know everything you need to know to get started with your ELB 500 TTL, the newest compact flash solution in a long line of innovative and ultra-reliable Ellen Chrome products.